we're going to show you how to add or edit item specifics in bulk from the hub. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to cut right on over and we're going to show you how to add or edit item specifics in bulk from the hub. So let's start with the hub. Now, how do you know if you have any item specifics that need to be changed? Right here is a radio button. Item specifics required soon. That means these need to be taken care of. Now, even if you fill some out and it goes down to none, I would always check back from this page anyway. I would also recommend the item specifics recommended usually end up being ones that are required. So I try to fill those in so many at a time as well. Now we do Ink Frog too, so usually I don't use this page. But for some things it is better, especially if you don't want these changes that you do here on eBay to be transferred from Ink Frog over to a Shopify or to some other platform such as Amazon. So I will do certain changes like this here so it won't affect Ink Frog, so it won't be updating stuff from what I do on eBay. So just FYI, if you don't have InkFrog, you just come to this page. You should be working this page as your main area to begin with. I'm on this page if I'm on eBay every single day constantly. This is the most important page in my book. This is where you send offers in the whole works. This is where you can figure out what item specifics you need. Now you may have hundreds and hundreds of them that show up here item specifics that are needed. All you got to do is click on the item specifics that are required. I only have one and it's already been taken care of. It won't clear off from my page until it's mandatory on September 9th. So I'm not worried about it. I've already fixed it. So from here, all you got to do is figure out what category the item changes are in and which specific item specifics they're asking for by just simply clicking on here to add the item specifics. Now, what I'll usually do is duplicate my tab. So I have two windows that are basically identical. One of them will have the item specifics that I have to change and I'll have them right down here so I can look at them anytime. So on this duplicate screen, it shows all of my listings and I can just pick, you see I've got 25,581, almost $800,000 in merchandise listed on this store here. So I'm gonna pick, let's say comic books. I don't have many comic books up now. We sold a whole mess of them. I bulked some out and I've got a ton more to list and I wanted to clear that out. So I'm just gonna pick comic books. And I'm picking comic books because item specifics were just required a few months back for the main character in the comic book, which is a good thing in my book because if I'm only wanting Superman, Superman shows up in other comic books. So if you just type in Superman a comic book, it, sometimes it's a little confusing for people to sort down to what they're looking for. Like action comic books have Superman in it. Obviously the earlier issues weren't tied to Superman. So, you know, there's some different aspects to comic books in general. So I'm just going to hit here and search and we're going to pull up the comic books. Now, if there's an item specific category line on your listing, most all of the time, at least all the ones that I have seen, I can't speak for everybody's items out there, but most all of the ones that I have seen have an option to edit them in mass bulk. Now, so here's mine right here. So we know the category I need to change stuff in. So I'm going to edit all of my listings in this category. It's going to then process your listings and bring them into the editing panel. It's very simple, very easy. All you got to do then is click all the ones you need to change or add it item specific to and go up to the edit fields here and right down here is item specific. Now even if each one of these listings isn't quite the same it's still going to give you all the options basically to change any of the item specifics that you need. So just by clicking on the little arrow here here's 16 in Silver Age with cartoon characters tied to them. When you click on that it's going to open up a main section here where you can edit pretty much all of the item specifics all at once. They're all available here. You just have to look at the header to see which ones you need to enter. Main character is here. Um, you've got certification grade, certification number, modified. I mean, it has every item specific that's tied to the listing. So if there is one required for your listings, you can go right in here and do them all at once. You don't have to go into individual listings. You can do them in mass bulk here. So let's say I wanted to type in, I'm doing Superman, and I've got 100 Superman comics up. I can just type in Superman here. I can just cut Control-C to copy it, 
and then control V to any one of these. So I'm just doing a whole bunch all at once. And you can just pop them down wherever it may need to be. So that's all there is to changing a specific item specific on there. You don't have to do them one by one. And as you go through these, if you need any more information on different categories or anything else, just pop back over to the other tab. You're already under item specifics required soon. So it's only showing the ones you need to deal with. You can select them how you want. You can go one by one if you want, but you can also do them in bulk if they're all the same item. I know people that sell jeans. They may have 100 pairs, 50 pairs of jeans up, and some of the requirements are just the color of the jeans. You can add them all in at once, just blue, and then just cut and paste blue to every jean listing you have in just a matter of minutes. If you're just now finding out that item specifics are required, you're not looking at your emails because eBay has sent out notices about item specifics in your emails. Not only that, the item specific required soon option button here has been here for at least two weeks, if not three or more. I have seen this and we did our item specific requirements almost two weeks ago so I didn't wait to the last minute this option has been up here for quite some time I always check this page for those sorts of things eBay has been adding item specifics in for a very long time so I always keep up on them as they pop up again you don't have to do them all in the same day you can do a few here and a few there and it's no big deal if you do them that way even if you have hundreds and thousands of listings we have thousands and thousands of listings tens of thousands of listings and we do get a ton of item specifics that are required. So I'm not exempt from getting item specific requirements like anybody else. Clothing wise, toys, all the stuff I sell in does have item specifics that are tied to it. Clothing may have more, but there are other factors like certification on comic books or toys or anything like that that come into play. So most toy categories, vintage categories, do have a ton of item specifics that they will be adding or have been added that I've had to address. Now one other thing you might see different too, many people aren't aware, if you look right down here on the right side, you can select how many items per page shows up on this list. I think it's preset for 25, but we just set it to 200. So we can look at 200 all at once. Now you can also go down here to the edit button if you're in a specific category and edit all of that category 500 at a time by doing it this way here by clicking the edit. And you can just go through your listings if let's say you've got to change some specific fix in certain ones and do them in mass quantity as well. You can edit 500 listings at a time. And again, if you're only selling in one category, this is your best option because as you saw, it will separate the ones that are tied to certain items. So you can just go through one by one and do a whole bunch all at once that are all similar in construction. So hopefully that gives you an idea. This will greatly speed up any time that you may have in sitting there and editing them. Again, the key, just figure out the category and then figure out which item specifics are required and you can mass put them in from the edit page at any point. Now the mass edit feature has been there for a very, very long time, years. And we do use this all the time. You don't have to go through eBay's way to do them one at a time. Again, figure out what you need to do, write it down, keep another tab opened and just flip back and forth between the two screens like this. That's all you gotta do. And then select the category and edit them as you wish. Now, one last thing I'll say, if the item specific doesn't tie to your item, isn't about your item, I always just put N forward slash A. And that is the only thing I have to worry about in those. Not applicable. It means it doesn't qualify for my item. That's all I put in and I'm done. I don't worry about trying to select one that may not match my item. So if you're not sure, NA will be fine to put in or has been up until this point so far. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.